<laughs> I like your response, Michael. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this thing's going a little off the rails. All right, guys. We okay. Got... Yeah. Let, let's get back on the track here with the introduction. Let's get here. some. Let's get some fun facts about these guys. Uh, Chadwick yeah. is a published author. Wow. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh. I'm, you know, a I'm CAD gonna... book as well. I mean, that that's you know cred right there. Yeah, <laughs> legit cred. I mean, we got a true. We got just so you guys know before we get into these facts. Chadwick on the left, inventor, professor. Crispy Co on the right, SolidWorks instructor, inventor, professor, SolidWorks instructor. This is going to be a good match. This next match between our Autodesk inventor, professor Chadwick, and our SolidWorks instructor, Crispy Co, begins in three, two. One, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? The tolerance is plus or minus one gram. This part is called hex locking plate. It's got some real funky angles. I, I see some spots uh. you guys could probably use indent. <laughs> <laughs> so looks like Chadwick has the print. Looks like Crispy Co has the print. And they are both off and yeah. running. Tricky looking part. I mean, it, it, it's actually simple part, but it, it just looks tricky. You know yeah or vice versa yeah yeah you might be right yeah you might be right this one is uh hex locking plate let's see what happens with this one uh both of our runners are looking like they're starting the same way starting from the top plane looks like uh crispy co decided to include that fillet in the first sketch where chadwick just decided to jump right into that next feature so chadwick mm -hmm. already pulling ahead with more features in the tree uh, crispy co here quickly adding that tangency relationship i like seeing that yeah yeah they're both neck and neck yeah same it looks almost like the same sketch on two different screens it's crazy right look at the different types of polygon tools all in one place i like how inventor did that yeah this this is where we see inventor really kind of pulling through where it's able to do these like multi multi extrusions let's not misunderstanding what's happening with the software it looks like we see these like multi extrusions in one command and that is mm. really really cool real nice yeah. time saver aaron c in the chat says those ribs are going to separate the good and the great that yeah. is excellent excellent observation yeah those those ribs are they are not to be trifled with yeah they are uh Anti-Ivan exploit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I would describe them. <laughs> and Aaron C says, wish I could say more. Yep. Thank you, Aaron C. Our former final four finisher, our finalist last year in the world championship, got through 32 people, made it to the final four. Great to have him here. We also saw Victor K in the chat, the current world champion. The uh, world championship will come up later this year, but we have the current 2023 world champion of 3d cad speed modeling with us victor. in the chat today nice to nice to see you victor yeah okay so i like this both of our runners once again same two different yeah. cad systems two different parts of the world looking down at the exact same sketch how cool is this yeah this is i mean this is this is this seems like the right way of doing it i'm just you know there, there's nothing i can say that i could yeah, I can't give any derogatory comments whatsoever here. This is exactly, you know, a good way of doing it for sure. Yeah. I mean, I probably would have just uh, left that plate flat and then drawn a second body underneath and then pushed it through with an indent. But <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> yeah, I could. We don't use indent enough. Just my we? workflow. <laughs> Getting the full round fillet going on here, an inventor. Yeah. And I missed what. Interesting. Uh, what Chris did in SolidWorks. Yeah, it looks like Chris went with the the 29 uh, that was called out for that one. So, yeah, see see how that comes into you know how that all shakes out. Right, right. And yeah, that look, that's our first divergence right yeah. here. Yeah, and look at Crispy Co drawing this shape. What's he gonna do with this shape? Hmm, this interesting. is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a uh, just a piece of material coming in. The Okay, yeah. yep. And that's kind of how that, that feature is defined. Uh, it is defined from the edge of the part like that. This okay. is really, really interesting. I'm, I'm like imagining, I don't want to say anything out loud, but I'm imagining where Crispy Co might go with this feature. Right, yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that uh, Chadwick here is, is taking another approach. 
<laughs> Aaron C is taking offense that we're referring to him as a final four finisher. He wants to be known as I got third place. <laughs> It's, it's really there's up, a big difference really, between finishing in the final four and getting bronze medal he's, he's really really kicking up some dust there in the chat there's a big i, I would complain too <laughs> okay here we go look at this we're gonna see a draft feature from wow whoa Crispy Co. come on Let's that that, go. that that was a different way of doing it that's that's what instructors do right there yeah 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 now wow. he's uh got the boolean here combined really really all. nice that was really nice. Okay, so and we see that uh, Chadwick on the left is coming through with his final features as well. We're gonna see what he ends up with here, how he ends up finishing this, and it looks like Crispy Co is coming into the chat with an answer: five seven seven grams, and that is correct. Wow! 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 wow. wow. Very nice to Crispy Co. That is awesome and what a cool way of approaching those ribs man that was cool yeah and chad nobody used right the rib tool him. yeah yeah you i would... mean yeah they, they were on different planes you know they it, it was it was a bit of a strange you know geometry you know anytime you have those oblique angles and things you know it can mess with you yep and we see chadwick in the chat you can see his mass there uh in the upper left uh 570 576 uh they would have rounded up to 576 and i think this tolerance is plus or minus one so that would have been qualified as well so chadwick was you know maybe 10 15 seconds behind crispy co on that model pretty complicated model like you said it looked kind of